Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use core JSON API module to read uh, all your content entities. Okay, so actually JSON API module helps you to do all the code actions. But here now we are going to see one day uh, how to do the read operation with JSON API module. So let's dive into video. And uh, first you have to enable a module called the JSON API. Go to extend and enable it. And JSON API module is, uh, has a dependency of serialization. So I already enabled that module. And for this module, you don't need a rest, restful web service module. So only JSON module is enough for you to read all the entities. Now the JSON API module is enabled. Before dive into uh, Postman, we will see how the article content type is structured in this site. Uh, this is the article content type manage fields. So here I have body field, comment field, field image, field list. This is the list field and tag. This is entity reference to the taxonomy term field. So this is the taxonomy term tag. Here I have list of terms. And it has parent-child hierarchy also here. And let's see how many contents are there for the article. So we have around eight to nine, I think. So we have around eight to nine uh, article here. So let's go to Postman and see how the read operation is going to work for us with JSON API module. So I already created a document here. This is for collection URL. Let me explain everything. So I'm going to uh, fetch all the article content in this API. So when I send, you can see here under data, you can see all the node. All nodes will be grouped under the data key. Okay. All article content will be displayed here. And when you open and see one, so it has title, sorry, type and ID, UAD, and link for it. This link is for individual page a API request. And next one is attribute. Attribute will contain all the data value. All the field value will be included in the attribute key. Relationship will contain a relationship when you create a content or any content type. Here we have taxonomy term as a relationship with the vocabulary, right? Term. So when you have any relationship from one entity to another entity, those will be included in the relationship. It's basically entity for the entity reference field. Okay. So when you scroll down, you can see revision UAD user also or uh, entity reference, right? So all the reference will be included. Image, the file entity. When you scroll down, tax, taxonomy tab. And that's it. Uh, this is how the structure of each node will be returned here. And once that is done, next, here in under article, sorry, under attribute, you are having all the fields, right? So instead of showing all the fields here, if you want to restrict or if you want to show only particular fields, you can do here. You have to add a new key called fields. And for type, you have to copy paste this type. For this particular field type, sorry, for this particular entity, I'm going to uh, restrict only title comma created so let me send it and i'm going to type attribute so you can see now it has only title and created right and i want to add one more field which is uid which is an author when you send this this uid is an entity reference so it will be added to your relationship it will not come under the attribute so it 
it will not come under attribute. So when you scroll down under relationship, you can see the UAD entity. Okay, so this is how you can uh, fetch particular uh, field what you want in your API. And next is sorting. So how to do the sorting? I'm going to sort the content based on a title. Let it be title. So when I send the title, I'm going to type attribute. So A, article, 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 tag T, tagging, tag so, texting. So you can see you now it is coming ABCD order. This is a uh, ascending sorting. When you give minus here, it will do the descending sorting for you. You can see texting, taxo, tagging, tag, article, article, article. So it will be reverse. When you want to do descending, you have to add one minus here. Okay. And next is page limit. So basically, when you have more content in your website, like a thousand or hundred or whatever, the page limit by default it will be having as 50. Since I don't have 50 content, it is showing all the content here. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to give the limit of two. If I give two here, before sending the request, I will show you at the end how it is now. So at the end, it will be it will not have anything. It will have a relationship of lost node, okay? So when I send it, you can see only one, two content, only two content will be here. You can see only two results are there. At the end, you can see the self URL and next URL. Okay. Since we are in the first page, we can go only to the next page, right? So only for those two URL will be available here. When you give the offset page offset, I'm going to give a uh, two. Okay. If I give two, it will uh, show the second page content. Since we are in the second page, we can see first page uh, URL, current page, and the next. Let's see how it is working now. Self previous, previous is the first page, and next is the next URL, and first page also coming. Okay. So uh, when you give the offset, you are in the middle of somewhere. If you give zero, it, it will be represented as first page. Since I didn't give zero here, so we are at the middle of some page. Since we are in the middle of page, we can see all the link. Okay. And page limit. Offset. And next we have a feature called include. Next, we have a feature called include feature. So what is include? It's a field underscore tag. So you can do include when you have entity reference field. So I'm going to send this tag now in the include section. When you send this at the bottom, you can see there will be new section called included. Okay, let me search it. Included, see here. So now we have new section called included where all the taxonomy field complete entity will be available here for you. All the value of the included section, okay? When you want to restrict fields for this included field, you can do that too. For that, you have to copy the type from here. Copy the type. And here you have to pass that fields of the type. And I'm going to get only the name and send under included in the attribute section. You can see only the name here, right? So this is how you, you can fetch data for your included field, okay? And next is we are going to include the image field. So before that, I will show you one thing. Structure, taxonomy, tags, manage fields. When you go and see here, for the tag, you have a field called image, right? So when you want to include the uh, 
image field which is inside the tag taxonomy term so it will be like nested entity reference for that you have to do like this tags dot the machine name of your image image when you send this under included when you scroll down this is a taxonomy so let me close it under included you have a section called term this is also term And this is also another term, term, term. Here you can see the files. So only one term has file entity. So only that is displaying there. If you are not passing this, the under included, the file entity will not be available. Okay. So this is how you, you can include a uh, nested entity reference in the include section and next you have a one more option called filter so you can do filtering here for filtering you have to do like filter of condition not condition some unique id you can give whatever like a tf title filter i'm going to do and title filter with condition of path path represents the field for which field I'm going to do for title field and here filter of TF. So whatever uh, ID you are giving here, you have to give the same so that both will be interlinked. Condition of value. So I'm going to pass value for title field. There is a title called texting. So I'm going to type texting here. So let's send and see how it is coming attributes only one attribute will be there and that is texting only that content will be displayed when you want to do operation here like uh, starts with equal to or whatever so you have to do that here tf condition you have to use same id here too so that it will work it's operator and here i'm going to use uh, starts with okay starts with t let's give only t okay bad request okay i think here we need to pass it as caps starts with send yeah you can see tag tag so tagging texting again okay so when you want to filter only TA, tag, tag, so tagging. This is how you can do the filtering. Let me delete all. And when you send this, here, for single node, you can do this way. You, you, you have to copy the UUID and pass it here slash UUID and send it. So it will return only that particular node object. For single node, you can do this way. Okay. It will contain all the entity reference field complete object. Okay. And this is how you have to uh, do read operation with JSON API model, which is in code. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.